Okay? Don't listen to the naysayers. I've got a bucket of crabs over here. So, when, uh, when uh, it was walking along the sort of a pier, and, we, and I saw a fisherman over there and just fishing up crabs. And after that, there was a bucket over there, and he had one crab. Then after that, quite a few crabs. Then he, there was no lid. And I asked, are you not going to put a lid on? There's something to crawl away. And he said, no, no, no. watch what happens. Watch what happens. And every single time there's a crab that tries to climb up, the other crabs are pulling down. So the only time when they can escape is when there's only one crab. When they can just climb on their own. But when there's more than one, especially when there's a lot, you see one trying to make a break for freedom or escape. And it just be pulled down by the rest. And that is the crab story. It's not an original story. It's a very, very sort of popular, famous story. They said, don't listen to the naysayers. Whenever you have big dreams, people will go, take it easy. Why are you looking so hard? Relax. Life is too short. And this is where it gets very, very interesting. There's this guy called Earl Nightingale, and he did a survey of, um, it was about 2,000, 2000 Americans uh, between the age of they followed, the, they, they followed their path between the age of 25 and 65. 40 years. Okay, and when you start at 25, we can all remember when we're 25. And some of you, so for many of you, it's not that big that far away. We're full of dreams. You know, like, you know, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing that, the world is my oyster, we've all heard that before. And, you know, it's. I'll do whatever I want and I'm happy in life and you know, we, we, we have, were so full of energy and enthusiasm. Then at 65, the results show, okay, one out of 100 people, one is financially successful. It comes in even there, or something there. Okay. Four of them are financially stable, six of them are dead, 15 of them are still working, and 54 of them are dead broke. And that's the stats. So fundamentally what I'm saying is that only 5% of the population makes it in terms of um, successful. And success is not defined as, money success is defined as uh, wanting to achieve a goal that's not easy to achieve, but you work towards it and actually achieve it in the end. So 5%. So that is pretty scary considering 95% do not achieve that. And another thing to think about is, if you take people's advice, you take their lives. <coughs> Let's say again. If you take their advice, you take their lives. So when people are giving you advice, and it can be the most well-intentioned by your parents, by your friends, by your close and by your spouse. Sometimes you have to look at their lives and ask whether, is that the life that I want? Because if it's not, then we have to really think twice before we take their advice because their advice that brought them to their lives right now. And considering 95% of people did not really make it in a way, whose advice are you going to listen to? So, don't listen to the, don't listen to the naysayers. Follow your dream. Do what you're passionate about. And that's the most important thing. Because for every one of us, you are the center of your universe. <coughs> it's very important to remember that between your goals and you, you will have all these hurdles to jump across. To say, no, don't do it. To start you tell you that. Your peers will tell you that. Your profession will tell you that. that it's just a bit wrong. Don't do it. But if you truly, truly believe in what you do, just do what you do. Don't listen to the naysayers. <coughs>